Hello and welcome back to my Ost Africa campaign for the New Order Don't Surf. I wanted to start off by saying I've already tried to record this episode once. I did the whole th uh, 30 minutes of recording, but then when I looked back at it, it recorded my voice, but it didn't record the actual game. So I already know pretty much what's going to happen this episode. So anytime an event pops up, I'm just going to try to summarize it in order to get back to where I was. Uh, one thing that I did was I actually did a fallback line right around my capital to like here. We'll go ahead and have that set up. Uh, at the very, near the very end, I'd say about 10-15 minutes before the end of last episode, um, the German Civil War happened, and we also had a war with uh, South Africa, and right as North South, South Africa started uh, was when I ran out of time. So, I'm going to try to play as closely as possible as to what we did before. Uh, so I kept trying to spam uh, to get our war support up. Turns out we actually are going to end up getting a new um, focus tree once the war starts. Which I didn't know about. Networking deals, basically... What's happening here is there's becoming a radio show in English, but it's basically just going to become uh, propaganda. Could conscript more workers, but don't feel like it. We also, uh, oh, Madagascar erupted in Civil War. Last time the, uh, let's see, which one was it? Yes, the Reichskommissariat Madagascar was the one that won. Not sure if that's going to happen again, though. I don't, don't really know the chances. Normal information. Go here to keep getting our stability up. African broadcast, this is basically the broadcast itself. Uh, not much to say about it. Then we're going to go down the path of us getting more uh, surveillance. So there was the possibility of getting Logistics Wizard on Hans Hutig. I think that's a really good idea because uh, I feel like stability is going to- not stability, sorry, uh, attrition is going to be the thing that really kills us. That's done. Basically we're putting up cameras everywhere. Next we'll be getting free TVs with microphones in them. To everyone. These guys didn't really help in the war at all, so I'm not super concerned about them. Do we have control of this? We do. That's cool. Do we even have planes? We do not. That's fine. I fully expect Sudas. Is it Sudas West Africa? Yes. Yes. They should be doing the majority of the Air Force game. West right. Yes. Yeah, Three hundred forty. They have more than the Union of South Africa. So we should probably always have them there. Three TVs. Be happy or else. Assuming it's a timed event, I should be able to get Be Happy Hell, or else, 100 for 1, Reinforce the Anglos, Boogeyman, and Boer Support Staff. I think maybe kick the Ornance Nest, but I'm not for sure. I 
think I'm probably even though with the boogeyman all it does is political power. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to kick the hornet's nest just to see what it does because I do lose access to this focus tree once the war once the war starts. It's also probably a better idea for me to actually put my troops up here, based off of what I know, but I'm not going to admit a game with that hard. Zalant Spirit, basically there's a kid who's watching uh, TV, gets has to watch propaganda, and there's a TV show called Captain Uber where he's fighting the, and I quote, Judeo-Bolsheviks, which is uh, very creepy to me. Whoa. We can get this, there we go. A hundred for one. Okay, yeah, this war is going pretty much exactly how it went the first time. But actually, let's see. Yeah, it looks like Rex coming. Sorry, right, Madagascar is gonna win. Let's take a quick look. The French stay. These guys went to war. Uh, whenever. After uh, Hitler died. Free France, Charles de Gaulle. Retribution, basically, it's Hutig freaking out about how few, uh, uh, how few, uh, pure Germans there are, and how many, uh, black people there are in Africa, because apparently he couldn't figure that out on his own. Yeah, I think we can continue to, yeah, continue to promote loyalists to get our war support up. I think at this point we don't really care who wins. Neither has the unique focus trees. Go ahead and get rid of this fallback line so that way we can move you as soon as possible. Command power, you guys can get infantry expert. Reinforce the Anglos. Basically, people are uh, uh, not super happy that we're uh, giving weapons to Anglos within our own party. Okay, lower support staff. Do not have enough weapons in our reserve. We're just really in the tank, I think. I think that's how I'm reading it. The O five point seven six billion. The recruit population is, a, is pretty nice, but the division recovery rate and planning speed is so nice because when we lose it from unending war. We're going to need to finally done it. Alright, civil war is about to start, but this is the... We are sending support to the uh, fascist party and the Union of South Africa. And uh, the person who's there is not happy about being forced to train Anglos. That more or less sums it up. Yeah, oh, I did not mean to buy oil. Okay. It's fine.
I hope we can kick the Hornets in this before the Civil War starts. The Iberian Council. Alright, the German Civil War, I think. As long as Kaidok doesn't win, everything's fine. Pretty sure Kaidok's the one that kills everyone. Alright, basically we've created our own alliance now, but with the other two uh, German factions. There we go, form the Victor Hornet's Nest. I guess we'll master the desert, but I don't think we'll get through that far. We're at war of Central Africa taking over our leadership. Sucks, but it's okay. Chaos and Ostlin. Hidden heroes. Alright, there we go. Kicking the hornet's nest. We'll go ahead and read this, because I don't know what it says. Darken room somewhere in South Africa, the orange rays of afternoon slither in between the Venetian blinds. A thin, lean man with oiled, sandy blonde hair stands before a cork board, puffing at the cigarette. Smoke rises to be rolled around the room by a violently rotating ceiling fan. The man cocks his head as he regards the cork board. Outside are the sounds of late afternoon traffic, but the man does not hear them, focusing as he is, the, is on the intricacy of his design. A dozen or so black and white portrait photographs, many of them taken from fugitive angles, crowd the cork board. White strings wrapped around the pins of each photograph next them to each other. One photograph in the center of the park board connected to all the others. Its subject is a middle-aged man with a pale, craggy face facing towards the camera. Smoker finished his cigarette and let another. He moved closer to the cork board absorbed by the central photograph. The man's name on the photograph and black marker was Ian Smith, a former British colonist from Zimbabwe who escaped from South Africa after the Reich had taken over. After building himself a new farm in Vyberg's Smith and Rupert criticized right someone's right to take and the new regime, he became a prominent advocate for the rights of British colonies and exiles in Ost Africa. For a second there, for a second there, you almost, you almost had me. I almost thought it was going to say he was, became a prominent advocate for the right, rights of the natives. But no, nothing's changed. In other words, he had become a new son. Nuisance. Unrolling the string and unpinning the photograph, the smoker slipped into his jacket and pocket, so the Reich Summonsar wanted to stabilize South Africa with a political assassination, did he? But what better way to achieve this interest than one of the most publicly outspoken Anglos and pin it on the Boers? He picked up the telephone, dialing his handler in the quagmire, and in doing so, knocked down the first domino that would send South Africa spiraling into anarchy. Alright, these research stuff is done. Let's see, I remember I went for decryption. And then... Oh, what was it? Oh, this. The Cobra Missile. Failed operation. It was past night and deeply spun in the favorite armchair who took accepted a glass of clinic and the remembering chatting around him. His most important of Norns were gathered to drink smoke and awaited the phone call that he knew was coming. Nursing his glass and beginning to feel slightly tipsy, Hutig looked around the room. Bayer and Chmielski were there, as was Mingle for once. He took a few deep breaths, trying to get back under control. Perhaps he thought this ought to be his last ring. He must not disgrace himself in front of everyone. The shrill ringing of the telephone put a sudden end to his underlings' battle. When Hutig made no move, Bayer stepped forward and picked up the receiver. He stood there with well. Listening and growing more and more puzzled. Jaw, jaw. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> Can't pronounce it, sorry. Hanging up, Bar turned to the, the gathered dignitaries and announced with utter bewilderment that the opportunity had failed, with the Ost African assassin being unable to find Smith, and yet somehow Smith had still been killed. Still staring into the middle distance, Hutig heard his underlings debate what could have possibly have happened. Eventually, deciding it must have been the Boers having the same idea, realizing the men were all looking to him, expecting him to say a few words, Hutig sat down in the empty glass and said, Thankfully, he didn't. A bolt or sway. Men today we triumph once more. Though our bullet went astray, it was clear that the Judeo United State of South Africa needs little encouragement to collapse from the rot within, long with natural social and long with the fewer. Was he slurring? He couldn't tell. He felt a moment of trepidation as he looked in the bar and turned his eyes. Could they tell? Well, the most still looked utterly baffled at certain events, his men seemed emboldened. 
Feeling drowsy and embarrassed, he takes Zink once more into his armchair so Ian Smith was dead. That ought to shake the decaying decadence of that stuff up a bit. For some reason, he found it difficult to care about the right, about it right. This minute, his vision seemed to swim before him. Could the other still? He had let himself get drunk. Surely not. Surely not. Besides, it was a once off celebration. It was not violation of sport and discipline. It was alright to drink a little more on occasions such as these. Interesting. I wonder if that always happened, if it's always failed operation, but he still dies. And is he, is, does an event pop up for him being dead if you don't do kick the hornet's nest? Ian Smith shot. Oh. Who takes that motionless behind his desk, staring at the ceiling? Does he remember someone came, waking up at 1 o'clock in the afternoon with a churning stomach and a bad case of cotton mouth? He had stumbled to his office when he found that an attempting anything resembling a thought gave him the sensation of a pair of ice picks being forced through his eyes. Dark summer three, I decided to put some time covering his facilities. So this was real hangover. It bore some semblance to this with the little headaches he used to get as a boy when he lunched a few of his father's beers, which he now realized were a dim shadow of the real thing grinning. Leaned forward to stare at his desk. It was stacked higher paperwork, missives, reports, memos, orders, telegrams, letters, requests, demands, transcripts, bulletins, dispatches, and tidings far and ill that had accumulated since the prior afternoon, wanting nothing more than to dive over and play prospecting to the rebel blood at the thought of entering them. Was also the horrible prospect of having to categorize them. He found his eyes drawn to the morning newspaper, sporting the tantalizing headline. He shot, he spent a shot in Freiburg. Though every time his body screamed at him, Hutig watched himself pick up the newspaper up and began to read. His stomach full like all applies to him to just the newspaper was telling him oddly. Almost all the details of Ian Smith's death mentioned in the article were different from those he had given by his intelligence officers the party the evening before. Or he meant so confident he couldn't get cooked in though. On their own operation, or had someone else gotten Smith before they could and, and they had tried to take credit for either mistakenly or intentionally in the hope they increasing their prestige on the backs of the real assassins. Soon after that, Smith had been taken out by a third party, and it appears to prove that South Africa's fall on the base was happily progressing his own. He didn't need an extra push. At least that was what he could have thought. He had been capable of cognition, only a few neurons firing. Pepper has leaned back in his chair, felt that familiar creak in his bones, and teeth clenched, resolved never to drink again. Seeing Boris, poor staff return home. Time is now. Alright, cool. So what we want... I want my infantry to just be up here to defend them. And be ready to attack. Go ahead and have you attack all of these guys. Let's try to get a nice cutoff there. Please tell me you guys are green air. We're getting there. Yellow air. Green air. Cool. With Fortress Buster for you. Call to arms. Oh, of course, of course. We're probably gonna stop reading events now. Now that the war started, I kind of want to... Right, now it begins. Time for war has come. We're now mobilizing Lost Africa. See if we can get our economy going now. Goring has defeated Hydric. Good, good. We'll go down one speed.
go and try to get rid of this guy. Oh wait, that's not us. I hate how some of these flags are. Maybe that's enough. Interesting. Um, African National Congress, 8 to 20 troops. for that capital. There we go. All right. And uh, I don't know what you guys' this thing is. Okay. So you guys have 19 to 47 troops. Okay, so first my infantry. Is going to be going all through here. So that way we can defend our borders. And these guys. Let's go for Port Elizabeth. get max speed. Yeah, stability is horrible. Done mobilizing Lost Africa, which we should be any second now. Moving in the right direction. Go we'll skin the cream, maybe we can get a bit more supply. Oh, a letter from... Okay. Alright, that's done. Not having enough infantry is not fun. Okay, wait, we got we got a infantry.
go. Go, walk, stop, stop. returns to Italy, so you're no longer the Italian Empire. So you are still the Italian Empire, Empires of Suffering. see your information. Got a decent amount of manpower. How do I see your... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff that can affect your middle population. Okay. Here, we'll get free military factories from there. some stuff can get over there. Unassigned divisions, cool. All right, there we go. Now 
Now with this to uh, reinforce our front lines, maybe we can hold. Whoa. much of a navy, but troll, I guess. Actually, no. We uh, should not be doing that. Because it kills our situation with oil. Now we need to buy some more oil. Complete deployment of the traps. All right, with us united, what we'll be going for is by the bowers, but unfortunately we've ran out of time for this episode, so please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.